said, I'll tell you all the story about the joke around the thief. I said, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shantanu Narayan. Good morning. Who says you need goggles for a virtual reality experience? <laughs> Can we give another round of applause to the amazing Adobe team that put that together? This is amazing. This is our largest Max ever, with more than 10,000 of you here in the room, and many, many more joining us online. A special welcome, a special welcome for those of you who are attending Max for the very first time. We're thrilled to have you be part of the Max community. In preparing for today, I've been reflecting on how this gathering is happening at an absolutely unprecedented time in our history. The world around us is changing faster and more intensely than ever before. I think we could easily dwell on what's wrong in the world around us and feel hopeless. Or instead, we could choose power, the power of creativity and design to make this world a better place, the power to captivate us with breathtaking color and to immerse us in the beauty of art on display in a museum, in a gallery, or on a screen, to teach people, young and old, and to raise awareness and advocate for change. To connect, to connect to the human condition halfway around the world and to move us and change our perspective. And to bring surprise, joy, laughter, and to make someone remember this exact moment. This work and all the work that you do, I think reflects the artistry, the craft, the passion of people who are never satisfied with the status quo. No one sets the bar higher than all of you here. And you're choosing that power to create experiences that I truly believe will make the world a better place. It's an incredible privilege for us here at Adobe to be part of what you do, to build the technology that we can to make all of these experiences possible. As a community of artists and storytellers, photographers, filmmakers, designers, developers, students, teachers, and leaders, we're bringing together the power of creativity and technology, art and science, to elevate these experiences to new levels. Let's take a look.
I think, I think that video captures the passion and enormous talent of this community, set to music by one of the biggest creative geniuses of our time. When we first announced Creative Cloud five years ago, we shared with you our vision to completely reimagine the creative process. And millions of you have joined us on this journey, and we've released hundreds of breakthrough innovations and services over the past five years. Pursuing this vision has changed us as a company in so many ways. The cloud has allowed us to move faster, to explore new ways of doing things. We've developed countless new features and experimented with new models to connect mobile applications to desktop applications. We've pushed the envelope by trying to create new hardware, not to get into the hardware business ourselves, but to find a new way and demonstrate a new way of working with touch devices through the cloud. The list goes on and on. But in many ways, Creative Cloud is still in its early days, and we have so much more to do. When I think about where we are headed, I envision a creative process that redefines how we all work, where we have true location independence, moving seamlessly from desktop to mobile to web without losing anything in translation, where you have your assets at your fingertips, and where training and help and inspiration are there even before you know you're going to run into a problem, where you can collaborate globally with your design teams, with your marketing colleagues or clients, with ease, no matter where you are. And we're the business of this entire creative creativity, from selling your content to finding your next freelance project, is truly just a click away. We are making progress. We're making progress towards this vision that we've shared with all of you. And understanding your needs through our ongoing creative cloud relationship is making an enormous difference for us. I think there's never been a more exciting time for the inventors at Adobe. The creative canvas is expanding beyond what even we could have imagined just a year ago. When you think about what's happening from 3D to Ultra HD to augmented reality, virtual reality, real-time animation, and so many other leaps forward that we're making. Because the tools at our collective disposal are just unbelievable. Our phones today have cameras that outperform SLRs of the recent past. When you think about the graphics processing that's available in the cloud, there's no doubt that tablets are no longer just consumption devices, they're creation devices. And the mouse is giving way to such a wide range of more expressive inputs from fingers to pens to brushes, and even today, our voices. Our own software innovation is actually moving just as fast as these devices, if not faster, to make sure we are putting the most advanced technology that we can into your hands. We call it Adobe magic. But in reality, it's not magic at all. It's the hard work of brilliant scientists and product teams at Adobe who spend every day inspired by what you do and are trying to make our tools to work harder so that you can focus on being creative. At the heart of our innovation is Adobe Sensei, a new framework and set of intelligent services for dramatically improving the design and delivery of these digital experiences. It's a core part of the Adobe Cloud Platform, and Sensei uses artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning capabilities to tackle today's complex experience challenges. It includes image matching across millions of images, understanding the meaning and sentiment of documents, finely targeting important audience segments, and so much more. Leveraging all of this content and data, Adobe Sensei is already hard at work in the Adobe Creative Cloud, Marketing Cloud, and Document Cloud, and will be available to our entire ecosystem of partners and developers. It is one of the most strategic investments that we are making to build on our decades of expertise and market leadership. And for our creative community, I think that Adobe Sensei is the Adobe magic that you have come to depend on us for. And we're trying to make it better all the time. 
If we can use artificial intelligence and machine learning to free you from the time-consuming tasks by helping you select objects in seconds rather than minutes, by recommending the perfect tool for your task, we believe that we can enable you to invest all your energy in the creative process. And it's your work and your ingenuity that will push Adobe Sensei beyond the old boundaries and to consider the unimaginable. You will see some amazing advances today when the team presents. But be assured, those are just the beginning. Our mission as a company, our mission has always been to change the world through digital experiences. You are the ones that are making this happen. And we hope that Adobe technology and our innovations are enabling you to make these good experiences great. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the community. And thank you for inspiring us. And with that, I'll now turn it over to Brian Lampkin, the leader of the creative business. How are you all doing today? Thank you, Sean. And what an awesome opening. And I'd like to thank the, the Adobe team also for just putting together an awe-inspiring entry that really gets my, gets my juices flowing here. So thanks. It's great to be back in San Diego. I actually used to spend a fair amount of time in San Diego. My best friend moved here after college. And uh, you know, I was down here fairly routinely. And if all goes well today, I'd like to invite all of you for a burger at my favorite burgers bar, Rocky, over in PB. And um, I'm sure they can fit all 10,000 of my friends. So let's, let's, let's see if we can get through this. Okay. More than San Diego, I'm really excited to be back at Max. So this is my second Max on stage. And uh, it's always been a place to be inspired, to, to share, to learn together, to explore together how creativity and design are shaping the future. Shantanu talked about how the world is changing around us. And I'm convinced more than ever that design and creativity is at the center of that change. If you think about it, your role as designers, your role as creators, is more central than ever before. Creativity has a huge impact touching all aspects of our lives. Um, we, we did a little research uh, this year, the state of create research, and more than two-thirds of the respondents uh, for the survey said that creativity helps make all of us better workers, better students, better parents, better leaders. And we have a lot higher expectations when you think about the experiences that we touch every day, the experiences that we encounter as consumers. In fact, half of the respondents in this survey told us that they consciously paid more money to, to get the right experience, to have the right product experience, so that experience matters at a very deep and profound level. You all are the leading minds in the creative community. Your role in creative experiences is more important than ever before. And you've told us, as we've engaged with you, you've told us in no uncertain terms that your creativity cannot be constrained by one process, by one tool, by one app, by one way of working. You want the freedom to explore. You want the freedom to capture and create and to bring your creative vision to life. This is exactly why we built Creative Cloud in the first place, to give you everything you need to respond to the new demands that are being placed onto, on you, to work when, where, and how you want, to produce exactly the content that you need to produce with the latest tools, with the latest apps, and the latest services. When we started this journey together, you know, we focused a lot on our leading desktop apps, the flagships, Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign. And we shipped hundreds of new features every year, focused on performance, productivity, and now with the Creative Cloud, a constant stream of innovation. And then we turned our attention to mobile. As mobile devices have become more and more powerful, we put a huge focus on extending the creative power beyond the desktop to mobile, helping you create anywhere with your assets always at your fingertips, always in sync. But it's not just about tools and apps and services. Community is the true core of the creative cloud. And we, our role in that community is through our innovation, crafted together with you, to push the boundaries of creativity. But we can only do that with your help. 
We can only do that by having you be an active part of the creative process with us, and in doing so, make the experience better for all of us. Last year, we introduced at Max, up in Los Angeles, we introduced our first preview release of Adobe XD. This is our, our user experience design and prototyping tool, and it's the best experience for actually building high-powered, immersive mobile apps and websites. We invited all of you to use the beta, to come to adobe.com, to download it, to sign up for Creative Cloud if you hadn't done that already, to download it, and to share your feedback, and together help us drive the innovation that we were bringing to Adobe XD. And I'd say that we at Adobe feel like the experience has been overwhelmingly positive with you. You all placed over 23,000 votes on 500 feature requests that resulted in 100 new innovative features for Adobe XD. More important than the sheer quantity of the features that we were able to build, it was that the features were on target. The features were the ones that you told us were critical for your workflows. So by designing and developing in the open, by engaging all of you in our own creative process, we built a better product together. And we're going to take the same open approach to design and development with many of our tools and services over the next uh, year and beyond, including a few more that you're going to hear about today. So we innovate together. We create together as a community. But our role in community goes well beyond the technology and the innovation. We are just as passionate about supporting and fostering the community itself. Last year, we launched the Creative Residency Program. The Creative Residency is basically it's a year-long program that gives select individuals the opportunity to learn and to grow by focusing full-time on a passion project with us at Adobe um, without having to worry about balancing all the trade-offs that we, we all trade off in our daily, daily lives. All that we asked in return of our Creative Residents was that they actually share the experience, both good and bad, so that we as a community can all learn together. And this year's residents are working across a range of, of disciplines and diverse projects. For example, there's Sarah Dietschy, whose Creative Spaces YouTube series takes viewers into the lives of creative professionals like yourselves. Or Christine Heron, who's spending her year using her design schools to launch a whole new product uh, to document creative discoveries and inspirations. And all of, the residents of, uh, all of our creative residents are here at Max today and, and welcome you to come by their booth in the community pavilion to hear more about the Creative Residency Program. Beyond residency, we're also very committed in, in helping cultivate creative careers because a great idea is only as good as its execution. We all know that. To truly make great ideas a reality, you must act, you must experiment, you must fail, you must adapt and learn and get up the next day and do it all over again. So we do this through 99U. It's our website and our conference series where leading creatives offer pragmatic, action-oriented insights to help bring ideas to life. And then there's Behance, the leading creative community of more than 8 million of you, the creative community where you showcase your creative work and where you're inspired by others. In fact, Behance is the source of all the wonderful imagery that surrounded you as you walked into the hall today. The explosion of devices that we talked about, that Shantanu talked about and I touched on earlier, the demand for high quality, personalized experiences places greater demands on all of you. We at Adobe refer to this as content velocity. Personalized experiences, multiple surfaces, personalized and high quality immersive uh, experiences that you need to develop require a lot more content. And, and we need to make that go faster, so content velocity. One way that Creative Cloud helps you address the demands of increased content velocity is by providing a marketplace for design assets that help you work faster. With Adobe Stock, you have access to the most diverse collection of high-quality content, of photos, of videos, of 3D, 3D models, all available directly within your favorite Creative Cloud apps. So you don't have to interrupt your creative process to get your best work done. But Adobe Stock is not just about putting high-quality content at your fingertips. It's also a marketplace for all of you. So you can publish your own work directly to Adobe Stock and reach a market of millions just like yourselves. High-quality typography is also fundamental to good design. 
And millions of you already use Adobe Typekit to access thousands of fonts. This year alone, we actually added 1,200 new fonts to Adobe Typekit. And today, I'm excited to announce Adobe Typekit Marketplace. This is a new way to find, to buy, and to use premium typefaces from the world's leading type foundries. With Typekit Marketplace, you now have access to over 10,000 high-quality typefaces, again, directly within Creative Cloud. So from desktop and mobile to community and marketplace, this is Creative Cloud. <clears throat> Finally, your assets are at the core of Creative Cloud, and keeping them in sync remains critical across all devices. And we are building a cloud-based future, as Shantanu alluded to, well beyond mere asset synchronization. First, as you see later today, our future products are all built on a cloud-native approach. To ensure that your assets are always available and always in sync, allowing you to create when and where you want, and with immediate access to the full Fidelity files that you're creating, including your latest edits. Cloud-native, cloud in turn, enables richer collaboration, whether it's co-creating with the distributed design team, or responding to feedback from your clients, or simply sharing your favorite photos with family and friends. Cl the cloud-native approach that we're taking in the future will unlock richer and more reliable collaboration and sharing. And finally, cloud-native means that we can easily build Adobe Sensei's machine learning, artificial intelligence, and deep learning technologies and capabilities, leveraging both the content and the data to deliver much more automatic, much more intelligent creative services that help you realize your creative vision that much more quickly. You've already seen many of Sensei's innovations brought to life with products like Photoshop, content-aware fill, and crop leverages this technology deeply. And we will be sharing a lot more over the coming days. So today, we're excited to announce Creative Cloud, our 2017 release. With Creative Cloud 2017, you'll see both a big focus on powerful enhancements to, to the current applications, as well as an early glimpse at some of the new innovations that we have in store for you. We spent a great deal of time speaking about cloud native and marketplace, and these themes are very relevant to the release that you'll, you'll see today. But we've also focused an entire release on the core product experience. You'll see performance efficiency, you'll see precision, and you'll see tons of innovative enhancements that we brought to the apps that you use every day. So whether you're a new user, just coming up to speed on Creative Cloud, or a seasoned professional, we built an experience for you. We built an experience that gets the application out of your way so you can focus on your creative work. So that's Creative Cloud 2017.